burden increases the total encumbrance of a target. This can make a target extremely heavy, slowing them down. If the maximum encumbrance of a target is exceeded, the target becomes too heavy and can't move at all. This is the same effect you get when picking up too many items. Burden is a very cheap spell to cast, but it's not very effective on its own, and it's best used when combined with a spell to damage your opponent's strength, and that's an easy way to immobilise them. Feather Lowers the total encumbrance of a target. This can unstick over encumbered players, and by reducing the total weight of what you're carrying, can greatly increase your speed. Elemental Shield This includes Fire Shield, Frost Shield, and Lightning Shield. These elemental effects can be stacked. An elemental shield will do two things. Firstly, it increases the target's defence to the specified element, so they take less damage from it. And secondly, it reflects a small portion of that elemental damage back at any close range attackers. Jump. Fortifies the target's jump. The height of the jump depends on the magnitude of the spell and also the target's speed and weight. Jump does not, however, remove fall damage, so be careful when creating high magnitude spells, eh? Levitate. Allows the target to walk on air. How fast the target levitates depends on the magnitude of the spell and the speed of the target. Now a good trick is to use something to increase your speed before using levitate. Even jumping will help with this. Lock. Locks the target door or container. Now this is a very sneaky way of locking enemies in rooms so they can't come after you, or maybe even to lock somebody out if you need some privacy. Well, since no creatures in Morrowind are capable of unlocking anything, a mere one-point spell is more than adequate. Open. Opens a target locked door or container. The magnitude of the spell determines the maximum lock level you can open. For example, a level 50 lock requires a 50-point spell. Shield. Increases the target's total armor rating, making them take less damage from physical attacks. The magnitude of the spell directly adds to the armor rating, meaning a 100-point spell will add exactly 100 armor. This is like a physical version of Elemental Shield. Slow Fall Reduces the speed at which a target falls. The magnitude of the spell determines how slow you actually fall. However, Slow Fall also negates all fall damage, meaning a one-point Slow Fall spell is enough. If you make an enchantment with a constant effect of slow fall at one point, you'll never have to worry about breaking a heal again. Swift Swim Increases the swimming speed of the target. The magnitude of the spell determines how fast you can swim. Water Breathing Allows the target to breathe underwater for the duration of the spell. Not much more I can add to that. Water walking allows the target to walk on water. Note you cannot attack things or pick anything up from under the water unless they're right at the surface. 